Okay. Rulers are married. We're going to have to get married then. Huh. I guess Robert's going to have to just move on in his life. Uh, Garen Wilde has died as well. Okay, who can we find then? The greatest knights. Uh, Jared Frey. We can go for Jory Castle. Or uh, Stefan Duck. I don't like any of those. But I need a wife. Who is there to choose from? Let's just click on this. So we could obviously marry the Martell girl. Uh, that would mean I would inherit Dawn, which uh, I don't think the Baratheons really need. Uh, Dustin, Glover, Lannisters, Blackmonts. Who would be a good ally, I guess? Let's go for the Paramounts. Let's see who we could marry. So you have a daughter, two years old, too young. But his daughter is attractive. And her name's Sansa, and she's attractive. Okay. He's Rickard, okay. Oh, Benjamin Stark was slain by Lord Hound of the Neck in personal combat. How did that happen? Little girl. But they're all too young. Uh, I think yours are too young as well, yes. Riverlands. Yes, all these are too young. I could marry Cersei. She got remarried to Fawn. My good friend Fawn. She got married to him, okay. The Reach. How about Marjorie? <laughs> Give us a nice little alliance there. Let's get the reach on our side, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to marry Marjorie, I think. We're going to betroth to her. Because when you think about it, the reach did fight against us in the rebellion. Uh, so maybe by marrying Marjorie, we can bring our houses closer together, secure their alliance and whatnot. It might be useful. There we go. We're going to marry Marjorie. Yes, we'll marry Marjorie. Apparently, her beauty has taught has been said to be what that will there yeah, has been said that to help me get over Liana. I'll need to get over Liana one day. Okay, Samuel Stone again, Jury Castle. Always the same ones. I don't want those ones. There's loads of great knights. I could always marry uh, Aisha. Aisha Greyjoy. <laughs> but we're gonna marry the Reach. I want to get them on our side. The knights I can trust. Jared Frey. Justin Macy. And uh, Samuel Stone. Apparently Sam... We're going to go with Samuel Stone then. There you go. You know, he is strong. He's a skilled fighter. He's a bastard. Let's just go for him. Ah. We need another one. Uh, Jory Castle. Uh, Benedict Broom. Could be a good choice. And Stefan Duck. I'm going to go for Broom. Step forward. There we go, we have our King's Guard. All okay fighters, no formidable fighters, really. I should have gone for. Uh, I went to Barristan, anyway. I can't click on him for some reason. I guess because it's auto saving. Barristan Selmy, yes. Should have gone for Barristan Selmy. Oh well, not much we can do about that now. Uh, the High Lordship of Skagos. The no is designated regent. Uh, an absurd quest. If I was to die, then my little girl would be queen. But we have no son. We have no son. Hmm. We're not in the best position, are we, Robert? Things never go well for you, do they? Not even, not even in this fake life. Uh, the duel was close fought, but in the end, I was victorious over my opponent. As I basked in the admiration of my peers. I knew that I had to do this again. We gained Julius. That's actually pretty good for us. I'm a tyrant, apparently. We've got strong, skilled fighter and duelist. That's pretty good for us. Ah, Sebastian the Bold is no longer guard and he died. Ah. How has he turned out? 12 years old, he's a trained fighter. Uh, he looks okay. Not that good. Let's get you good, Renly. Educate. So I could educate you. Eddard Stark. Let's send you to Eddard Stark then. Yes. Eddard Stark will look after you for a while. I'm sure he'll do well. Okay, there's a revolt against Eddard Stark. Uh, okay. And Prince Hubert of the Stormlands. 
Who's Prince Hubert? Who is Prince Hubert? Of the Stormlands. Ah, I did not even notice you. There's a Baratheon who's also still alive. What? Wait, wait, his parent. Storm King Lionel the Laughing Storm. Okay, wow, he's pretty old, 76 years old. And he's a son, a bastard son. How? I did not even know you were alive, my good sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> what have you been? Let's get you married. <laughs> Just for fun. Uh, no one you can actually marry. Oh, there we go. Halton. Okay, that's the heir to that lordship. How about we give you that then? Yeah, we'll give her to you. You can have that. It's cool to see the laughing storm there. Uh, was slain by Lord Commander Duncan of the King's Guard. Apparently that's what they're going with. Let's get married to her. Let's just see what happens. Ah. Dear King Robert, I never thought I would feel the shame of asking a friend for some monetary help. But this war is threatening to ruin my coffers dry. Employ you as a friend to a friend for a small monetary gift so that I may win this war. Okay, if the war's going badly, I better join him. My hands are tied, there's nothing I can do for him. Of course, here you go. Whatever you need. Take all the money you want, John. Take all the money you want. I should really start spending my money. Uh, patrol posts. Do we have any other land? Yes, we have uh, Dragonstone. I need to give Dragonstone to someone. Probably give it to Renly, maybe. Probably a good choice. If I give it to Renly, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I could give it to Renly. Peasant revolt. Peasants have risen up. Hopefully someone takes care of that. I really can't be bored of peasants. Seems kind of just annoying. There we go. Looks like they're going to take care of them. Um, you've been in the employ of someone. No, I don't need you. How is this one doing? Six years old. Winter is coming. Oh, looks like we need a new Master of Laws. John Aaron. Is John Aaron dead? One second. Uh, Mary Ann actually is one of the best ones. She might be the best choice then. Let's go with her then. Mary Ann Halton. Uh, improve relations, I guess, with the Greyjoys. Yes, John Aaron died, and his only son was a stillborn. God damn you, Lisa. God damn you, Lisa Tully. Okay. So Lady Paramount Anya. If she was to die to go to Denny's, Aaron, who's a formidable fighter. The son, John Aaron. Okay, so the Aaron line was still okay. Hopefully she doesn't get in a stupid marriage. Things have not gone well for us so far. Well, I mean, it's, it's not much really been happening. But the fact Leanna just died. She just died. She just went up and died on us. It's kind of sad. Married to a bushy. There we go. They took care of the peasants. See, I told you they would. We were fine. Let's go up north then. So what's going on beyond the wall? Nothing's really going on beyond the wall. Okay, he's got me some more cold. Don't want gold. <laughs> gold is really the last thing I need. And no one wants to abolish the first night. Are you kidding me? Why do people want this? Oh, Tion. Uh, I banish you. Uh, nobody's been designated a regent. Uh, yeah, fine, be the regent. You're actually quite useful. And you're married to one of our family, so it makes sense. Let's go on a grand hunt. I'll find the white stag. Okay. Uh, Lord Adrian is such a humble vassal, giving me the honour of his kill from the hunt. Uh, he is a benefit to my rule, and his humility is an example to us all. Thank you, Adrian the Red Crab. Thank you. I'm such a good hunter that I do not always need my retinue when I hunt. There's a large pack of wolves ahead, and they look hungry. I need more warm pelts for the winter. Yeah, let's go kick them on. 
The hounds were more alert this morning than I've ever seen before. Something stupendous must be awaiting us. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I think my horse is limp. I don't care what it is. I'll hunt it. I'll do it. It's another day. Okay. The child of a peasant. Jesus. Let's go for this. Let's go. A white heart has been seen in the north of King's Landing. I'm told it is a heart of ten and the biggest deer ever seen. I find no joy in killing such a proud animal. I'll send our best hunter. This is my kill. Yes. The grand hunt is over for now. This was truly a noble endeavor and a true challenge for our martial uh, abilities. Very good. What is this? Um, an embargo war. We do not care for this. We do not care. What happens over here, Marine? I know that one of my slothful courtiers is capable of more. Uh, nah, we can't be bothered to talk to him. Robert isn't exactly that type of guy. And again, not really religious. Okay, one of the East. Uh, I guess we'll give it to the daughter of John Aaron. Lord Commander still Jantos, Co Cogel. Uh, the Maester's next in line. Oh no, Hoster Tully has died, bedridden and an infirm. Edma Tully has inherited, and he's married a Bracken girl. Not oh, well, he's betrothed. No, he's actually married. She's 12 years old, though. How is that possible? Lord Rickard. Ooh, Starks would inherit there. If he were to die without any children. Let's see, Jamie. Jamie still has no kids. Interesting. Uh, very good. Renny's enjoying the tuition. That's always good. Mace, how are your kids doing? Willis, obviously, this time is not been crippled, so that's good. And he's got skilled fighter. Uh, Garland of the Reach is a very different man. He has no fighting skills at all. Uh, so Donald Noy of the Iron Throne has utterly embarrassed me in front of the entire court. He's claiming that I'm sinful and full of vice. Ah, Donald Noy. Nice to see you. He has no skilled fighter or anything. Okay. I don't like him anymore. Yeah, I don't like you anymore. How dare you. Daughter was brawn to Prince Hubert and Marianne Holtet. And uh, Brienne Baratheon. More Baratheons, I say. Ah. No, I'm fine. I don't need him. I should build stables, definitely. And we should build uh, barracks. Castle Town. Let's go Castle Town. King Robert has hit 30. Employ of Lord Denley. I don't need Alice Fawn. Ah. Alice Fawn, you want to come to King's Landing. I'm going to accept just because I want him to be in King's Landing. I, I just like the idea of Alice Fawn being here. So we're going to marry young little Marjorie. Just three more years. She's mine. My daughter. What's she good at? I'm going to get educated at court, I think. She was quite good at learning, but for now we need to be good at court. Who knows what the future may bring? If I was to die, she would have to take over. Uh, Renly has become a young man. Did not turn out so good as I thought. Eddard Stark, you didn't do the greatest job, I must say. Um, but my brother needs to get married then. Renly needs a marriage. Who could he marry? I could get him married to her. Oh, she's already married. Okay, that's fine. Uh, she married a Tarth. Okay. You could marry John Aaron's daughter. That could be a good choice. Let's see. Renly. Yes, she would accept. So we could give Renly the veil, which might be good. You know, Renly's a good lad. He deserves something. Um, we could give him the veil. I think that would be the best choice. Yeah, let's give him the veil. There you go, Renly. Have fun. You're going to have to wait uh, a few more years, though, before you can uh, get your prize, Renly. 
So there we go, little Renly. Uh, what has he turned out like? He is uh, shy, uh, temperate, wrath, authoritative, charitable, trained fighter. So he's very different to the man we probably know. But yeah, gain a title to get a thief of his own. Build more on Dragonstone. Uh, I guess barracks. Need a guardian. My daughter. Um, yeah, let's get her good at diplomacy. Yeah, maybe Hubert would be good. Or Tywin. We could get her educated by Tywin. Or uh, Eddard Stark. Tywin or Eddard Stark. Now, Tywin is ridiculously good. <laughs> uh, overall. So Tywin might be a good choice. King's Guard protection targets. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with Tywin, I think. We sent Renly to uh, Eddard Stark for his last few years. He didn't turn out so great. Let's try and send my daughter to Tywin. Uh, he is in King's Land, and after all, he is the Hand of the King. So let's try it out. And he's getting old now. I don't want to join your silly wars over there in the east. Ah, and a marriage. Who would like a marriage? Uh, Maria. Just a, a random young girl. She's got good traits, though. I'm sorry, she's got good skills. A son. Oh, she's Wickham. And uh, Lance or Lannister. But I guess that's fine. Yeah, sounds okay. Yeah, sounds fine. Lancel sounds like a fine man. She got Pike to like us as well. That's good. Oh no! What happened? So he died from severe maiming. It was like Balon Greyjoy went reaving. Probably died. Uh, his second son died of severe maiming, and so did his first son. Okay. Nine three. So just a couple of years ago, he died quite a while ago. Uh, Theon turned out to be gay. So Theon's gay. Uh, skilled fighter, that's quite good. Uh, Aisha will turn out really good. She's married a Harlaw. But yes, let's go back to him. So he became Lord Paramount actually for a while. I just didn't notice. For about two years. And now his son has inherited. But he is declaring... Ah! You sneaky devil! Euron Greyjoy. So it looks like Euron Greyjoy has become the marshal. He's maimed. Uh, married to a good brother. Has his own children. Interesting. So it looks like he became the regent. And he's declared that Tal is incapable to rule. Slothful. That's not good. He's maybe taking control right now. His heir would be... Aaron. Oh yes, it's before he became a drowned brother. Aaron Greyjoy would be next. Wow, the Greyjoys are pretty... Messed up at the moment. Oh, and Greyjoy might be going there to get power. That'd be quite cool to see if he can play something out of this. He wants to control the Iron Isles through the little Tal. He knows Tal can't get rid of him. So he's declared him incapable. The Tawny of the Driftmark. Should I go? Yes! Let's just, let's just waste some time. That hasn't been a tournament for a while. Let's go just waste some time. Enjoy ourselves. And the next joust, uh, you against Gunther. So we've been drawn against Gunther. I should beat him. He's a hunter. That's it, really. Steady. And we've hit. I'll knock him off this. I mean, might just stay on. So Rob Baratheon is actually in the tournament himself. And we've hit him again. A fine hit, I must say. Very good. Uh, Orion Waters. Uh, Orion Valerian. And so Orpheus with the next to joust. Orion Waters was the one who won. Okay. Fought well. Okay. Enjoy Orion Waters. Steady. And I have hit. Fine hit, I must say. Yes, no one can defeat uh, me. Victory is mine. I've defeated all who stood before me. No one's capable of enhorsing me from my fine mount. I have claimed the winner's purse and the adulation of the galley. Very good. Well, who, who was going to really defeat Robert? Uh, oh, what's happened here? Garonis. What just happened there? Looks like he took on his own name. 